Hello YouTubers. I decided today to do a follow-up video on uh, my Cobra 2000 GTL. As you uh, as you can see, uh, it's uh, it's in pretty good shape. I'm going to give you a uh, a look at it, uh, the insides especially. Give you another look at it. But in the meantime. Um, I'm going to power it up for you and uh, I need you to look at what frequency is being displayed while I'm on channel 1. Now typically channel 1 would be 26.965 and uh, it's displaying 26.9586. Uh, this radio was modded and it had a Roger Beep kit, a circuit board inside, and it um, so it was set up uh, to, to, to run extra channels. I had the radio uh, demodded by uh, Radio Nut 63 in St. John's, and uh, he'd done some work on the radio to replace some parts and uh, got the radio back in, in good running order. However, I didn't realize, and probably he did not realize neither, that uh, when they did the channel mod in this radio, they most likely uh, replaced the MB8734 PLL with uh, the 8719 PLL, which is a PLL that can be modded for extra channels. And indeed, there is an 8719 PLL in the radio at this time. Um, so, <clears throat> anyway, I didn't realize it, but anyway, he I wanted the mod taken out and just, you know, give the radio a once-over, basically. And uh, so I brought it home and I put it away, had it in storage. And just yesterday, uh, I wanted to take the radio out and power it up. And uh, the radio worked fine, except I really found it really funny uh, <laughs> that uh, it was displaying wrong on the on the frequency counter, so I thought the frequency counter uh, section of the radio was was gone awry, but it's not. It's uh, it's been demodded, and now I'm in need. If I want to keep it demodded without any extra channels per se, I need to find the original 8734 PLL, which is probably harder to find, uh, much harder to find than the MB. 8719. So that's the dilemma. Uh, I think I've made up my mind. I'm not going to bother to look for the 8734 chip. I'm going to uh, see if I can get the this radio uh, modded. I believe there was two switches uh, that controlled the extra channels and I know the, the clarifier was also unlocked and I, I do know that uh, Radio Nut 63 locked the clarifier for me too. Be a for me too because I asked him to bring it back to stock and that would make it easier for him to troubleshoot anyway when he wanted to do some work on the radio so he uh, obviously removed the modifications and then went through the radio uh, section for section and checked things out and uh, put it back in order and like I say he did a wonderful job but uh, we neglected uh, to realize that uh, we would not be operating on regular uh, CB band 26965 to 27405. I'll show you channel 40. And as you can see, it's 27.398. It should be 405. So basically, um, it looks like because we don't have the right PLL in there, I'll give you an example here. Channel 2 is closer to 965 than channel 1. So I'm hoping. I'm 95% sure that's what the problem is. And uh, so now I'm asking anybody out there in YouTube land uh, if they do have specific, proper, uh, accurate instructions as to how to modify this radio. This radio was made in Taiwan. Uh, I guess uh, in knowing where it was made, uh, obviously it was uh, the 8734. I can't be 100% sure, uh, sure, but the 8734, uh, from my research online, 
has um, has proven the fact that it should be an 8734, to the best of my knowledge, but there is an 8719 in this um, radio at the moment. I'm going to give you another look now uh, at the uh, inside of the radio and uh, and uh, see what kind of shape it's in. It's not in bad shape at all. Actually, I, I can I, I'd say it's uh, it's in good shape. Okay. Now we're looking at the actual uh, the cabinet part of it, the the wood grain look. That's uh, that's pretty well lit. Show you the sides a bit. It's in really good shape, I must say. And the other side. Yep. I gotta say, very impressed. I'll show you the metal shield just, just briefly. Just wanna show you the condition of it. Uh, no corrosion or anything, but uh, it does seem like there's a bit of a, or I should say, a lot of fingerprints. A lot of fingerprints. Okay. Let us commence. Let me see if I can get you in here. I'll have to tip down and look inside the radio here. I apologize about the light. And uh, if you look right down here, that is the 8719 chip right there in all its glory. I'll see if I can zoom, but I doubt this will work. That's upside down, but you can read that. 8719. Give you a scan of the board here. So basically, what we're looking at is uh, an original Cobra 2000. And as I said, it was modded at one point, and I've demodded it. And there you go. Uh, it doesn't uh, operate on the CB frequencies. <laughs> Had I known how to lift the modification in place, uh, the only Thing that I thought was wrong with the mod was the fact that the switches were kind of sloppy and they weren't good quality switches. Uh, they seemed to work fine but just I wasn't uh, overly particular with it. Put this back on here. Frequency counter, everything works as it should. Um, we uh, give it, uh, I shouldn't say we, I should say Daryl give it the, the wonderful once over. And uh, I'm very impressed with his work. He does uh, does wonderful work. I do have this uh, hooked up to my uh, antenna, and uh, squelch. Sorry about that. Now, as you can uh, as you can uh, probably uh, already figure out. We're not really on 38, we're kind of in between channels here. So, uh, we're sort of like on channel 37 right now. If I move to channel 39, it's somewhat close to uh, channel 38. I'll move the clarifier, and as you can see, I'm moving the fine, fine one back and forth. And of course, and the clarifier is locked. So I'll just give you a close up of the condition of the radio here. Gotta say, it's in nice shape. So there we have it. All the switches and everything is operating as normal. And uh, it's just the fact of getting getting instructions uh, on how to re modify this radio. I uh, sincerely uh, sincerely hope somebody out there knows how to do it and uh, maybe have some uh, maybe have some uh, information that they can send to me because I'm certainly going to need it. Uh, looks as though I may have to bring this back to uh, Radio Nut 
63 Daryl and St. John's and hopefully with the instructions that I can uh, collect you'll be able to uh, to remodify the radio so it can be used in the regular CB band and uh, and the 10 meter or whatever it's capable of doing 26, 27, 28 is my guess so if you can help me out I certainly would appreciate it thanks for watching